having talked about what is a metamask a smart contract how they are integrated let's see the first step technically this video will explain you that how we can have a wallet by the name of metamask in our browser the browser we'll be using is a google chrome browser before we see that how we can have this wallet in our browser how we can create an account of metamask let's have a quick revision of what we have seen in module 3 first lecture the smart contract is a contract is a code which is executing itself it is the power of an ethereum blockchain platform to write down the applications we need the smart contract which controls the executions of the transactions and wherever a transaction is executed the smart contract is executed by default at the back end the developer writes the smart contract and the front end developer builds a distributed application over and above this smart contract the ethereum virtual machine is running this smart contract and ethereum has two addresses one is an externally owned account and second is the smart contract account let me repeat ethereum has two addresses one externally owned account and second in a smart contract account today we will be seeing the externally owned account externally owned account is a third party account which is there to hold the cryptocurrencies of the blockchain platform the eoa in turn controls the smart contract the eoa controls the second account which is known as the contract account externally owned account itself is controlled by the private key each user has its own externally owned account has its own account address and that account address is also hashed in this video we'll be creating an externally owned account today so let's begin with the step by step process to create an externally owned account we'll be installing metamask and adding it to our chrome and creating our account today so let's follow the steps how to do this and you can practice it along with the video or after the video the first step which you have to do is to search in the google chrome the meta mask what wallet we are using is meta mask meta mask is a browser based wallet we'll be adding it as an extension in our google chrome this is a very simple process like we add any other extension we'll be adding the extension known as metamask in our google chrome browser so you will search in the google metamask and open this website metamask.io then you will click on download now after clicking on download now depending upon the speed it will give you different options you are using it is supported by which browsers it is written it is supported by chrome firefox brave and edge let me tell you one thing very interesting over here that brave is an application of blockchain it is a blockchain based browser so you can try the brave browser a blockchain based browser then you will click on install metamask for chrome after clicking on install metamask for chrome it will take you to the chrome web store you will put it on add to chrome after putting it on add to chrome it will say that it can read and change your data so you have to allow it and put on add extension 
after some time this extension would be added into your browser and we can manage the extensions by clicking over here and seeing the extensions as it is there in the chrome browser so we will add the extension so it says added extensions it says that you have to turn on the things if you want we can turn on the thing because we are using a different system so let the extension add depending upon the time then quickly we will see what how it works after adding it it gives welcome to metamask connecting you to ethereum and decentralized web because this metamask is an externally owned account which is connecting us to the ethereum i told you that it is controlling the smart contract it is a bridge between the smart contract and the user where the user is writing the smart contract running it on ethereum virtual machine it is getting the testing ethers from this metamask so let's click on get started after clicking on get started it says that do you have a secret recovery phase or you want to create a wallet so for the first time user you will click on create a wallet then after clicking on create a wallet it will say is that what does it want and it always allows this so you have to agree for these things then it asks for a password yeah. you can put any password which you want that so let us take any password choose a password agree for it and then create so over here we are creating a wallet before creating a wallet it also tells you what is a recovery phrase and how to keep the wallet safe so instead of watching this video i'll tell you that what is a recovery phase and what you have to do when we are creating a wallet it also gives us a recovery phase we can say it gives us a phase word a master key this master key can be used if you forget your password and to complete the process of the wallet you need to save this recovery phase because when we proceed you will find that this recovery phase this phase word comes in front of us as a jumbled word and we have to reassemble it so that we do not we are able to create the wallet at the end by putting it in the correct order so you should save this master key which is required afterwards now this is the secret phase though it should not be revealed to all but over here we have revealed it to all it says that it should not be revealed but we are creating a video and this is something which is not linked with my account so this is a dummy account which i am using so this is the secret phase and when we proceed further before we proceed we have to save this secret phase somewhere so that we can use it on in the further steps so let's copy this and save it somewhere and then we will proceed so let's proceed further and with this so we'll click on next after saving the secret phrase so see what happens it's asked that what was your secret phrase so because we have already saved it we know what was the secret phrase so let's put it over here i have saved it on a different screen which is open in front of me on a different system so i'm just seeing it from there and writing it what was the secret phrase so this was the secret phrase which was opened when you complete this thing just click on confirm and it says that all done it gives you a secret phase he says that it is known as a secret recovery phase no need to see 
more about this and this is how this metamask account is created the externally owned account which i was speaking in the beginning of this lecture this is the account this account which is visible over here eoa this is the account address now how to deal with metamask what to do with it what are different networks in this metamask and how we can buy how we can send how we can put testing ethers in the metamask we'll be seeing all these things in the next video so to summarize in this session this lecture what we have seen is that how we can have a browser based wallet that is a metamask in our account how we can create an externally owned account to proceed further we require this external owned account because this account is controlled by a private key the account address and this account controls the smart contract account we will be writing the smart contract and making the applications in the module 3 and module 4 but the very first step is to get this metamask so today you have learned that how we can have a metamask in a browser how we can create our account in the coming videos we will be seeing that how we can explore the testing networks we will be learning more about metamask and how testing networks can fund ethers to us that's all in this video